Hello and welcome to the vlog. Today I'm having a brand new stove chimney made. You may recall several months ago, I think it was, I spent a lot of effort resealing the chimney collar because it was leaking, basically water running off the roof, running underneath the collar, down through the roof and inside down the stovepipe. So I took the whole thing off, it was a monumental effort, resealed it, put it all back again, and that much has worked. But because the chimney is all starting to fall apart, as the fuel burns, it's, there's this tarry muck that is coming up, condensing inside the chimney, dribbling back down again, and it was all landing on the filler between the pipe and the collar, and it managed to work its way through and leave these horrible, I suppose, lime scaly type deposits dribbling down into the cabin again. So a bit of a nightmare, all to do with the chimney, so I'm having a new chimney made. Let me show you the problem with the old one. There it is. And on the face of it, it looks okay, if a bit worn and weary, perhaps. But it's clearly not so good when you look at the inside. That inner liner should not have that whacking great split in it. It's supposed to be joined together. And that means all the crud coming up the flue could condense on the inside, uh, sorry, the outside skin, and then just dribble back down again and that has led to an almighty amount let me see if I can get a better shot of disgusting yuck building up between the pipe and the collar and it's somehow managing to work its way down there and come out inside the boat Here's what it looks like, with chalky, limestoney stuff dripping through the black sealant between the collar and the flue. Rather than buy a badly fitting off-the-shelf chimney, I called in a specialist, Chris Smith. He turned up in his van with the beginnings of a chimney, made up according to dimensions he took from me a week earlier over the phone. There is what would become my new chimney. Chris just needed to refine it a bit. The first step was to have a look at the collar, clean it up a bit and double check the measurements. There was a lot of old crud there, which Chris got rid of fairly swiftly with a chisel. The chimneys start out with some flexibility to enable Chris to fine tune them once he's actually on your boat. So he fixed it over the collar and clamped it to the right diameter with a massive Jubilee clip. Clamps were used at the top to hold that in place too. This was then taken back to the van where the seam up the side could be welded solid to that correct diameter. The blue colour was just protective plastic by the way, although I rather liked that look. Chris also rolled a bend into the top of the chimney, using another machine and a bit of elbow grease. And that's the result. Now the inner lining could be worked on to ensure it fitted snugly both to the outer chimney and the inside of the collar on the boat. The idea is that you want everything to be a nice tight fit so that the smoke and fumes get vented properly and give a proper draw on the fire. See how that inner sleeve is slightly tapered so that it'll be completely tight against the collar. Again Chris marked up the exact measurement and held it with a bit of gaffer tape while he took it back to the van. This was the same process as before, welding along the seam. But before Chris joined the edges irrevocably, he just tacked it briefly together at the base, then did a final check. Yeah. 
This may look crude, but it works and proves the tight tolerances Chris works to. Then there was a final fitting, the inner and outer linings now joined as one and tight over the chimney collar, very tight in fact. With everything fitting perfectly the generator was fired up again and those inner lining edges were fully welded together. Chris had also pre-made a new chimney lid, far more substantial than any I've had before. And to stop me knocking it into the canal with a rope, he drilled holes into the new chimney and filed down the sharp edges. Matching holes were drilled into the lid. No, he's at Devdale. Finally a bit of refining was done up top with a sander. was everything done. My new chimney was complete. And here is the new masterpiece sitting in place. So shiny. It's stainless steel so it can just sit like that or I could paint it or get it powder coated or something apparently. I might just leave it as it is, see how it goes. And I'm very pleased with it. It's very smart, very tidy. I'll do a progress report sometime over the winter, see how it's bearing up, but for the moment yes I'm very pleased and have to say a very reasonable price too. Look how much shorter the inner pipe of the old chimney was compared with the new one that's been custom made and that means the old one wasn't even sitting properly in the flue so no wonder all the gunge was escaping the wrong way. This one will now seat properly into the flue and all the fumes and stuff should actually go up it. In case you're wondering, this was not a paid promotion or an advert for Chris. I needed it doing, I've paid for it out of my own money. I just videoed it because I thought it would make an interesting vlog. I hope you did too. Any questions, drop them down below. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.